Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin. Also, I will talk about the stimulus package. And before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming token swap or token stacking. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, library.tv and Patreon as well. For library.tv, you can earn the library token just by joining the library.tv as well as watching video. It's time to decentralize YouTube because uh, YouTube, there's a tons of censorship right now, right? Everybody probably aware right now. And Patreon, I publish a video about essential vitamins for preventing coronavirus. And this is based on scientific journal. There's a, all the vitamins have scientific journal to back it up. It's not just uh, out of thin air. Also right now, because of the QE infinity, you can, um, you should buy some gold and silver, right? But I have been talking, uh, not a financial advice. Uh, I've been talk telling if you follow my channel, I've been telling people to buy gold and silver for the last three, uh, for the last two years, I guess. <clears throat> and of course, right now, uh, people have difficulty to buy gold and silver, and I and here I show you a whole bunch of website. You can a uh, whole bunch of places you can buy uh, the. Uh, gold and silver and what type of gold and silver you should buy as well if you are interested you can check it out and let's go to the um bitcoin quickly so remember we talk uh i talk about there's a potential pump at the time probably last week because of the btc usd short positions have been building up like crazy and uh, of course they need to pump the price to liquidate sh the short position once they liquidate they, uh, they, there may be no reason to pump at this time, but uh, right now it's still hard to tell. Uh, we'll see because like right now we have so many factors uh, outside to determine, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'm not, um, I only buy something when it meets all the indicator. If it doesn't meet the indicator, I would not buy. So that is how I uh, operate. I don't look at uh, all this sentiment or um, all these things uh, in the market. <clears throat> And let's talk about the stimulus package. Um, oh, let's, let's see. So let's talk about this. So they talk about um, QE Infinity, right? So basically, they print all this money. They are going to buy the treasury, uh, credit divorce swap. And also, of, uh, of course, uh, they're going to uh, uh, bail out the big business as well, right? And with the QE Infinity package, that means they're going to print anything they want. There's no limit. And I think this is very bullish long term for Bitcoin because uh, Bitcoin only has a, a 70, uh, 70 million, right? So there's no, uh, there's no inflation. I mean, you cannot just print anything. Once the coin is uh, mined, it's done. There's no more inflation. But um, but the thing is, like, <clears throat> right now, if they do, like, QE Infinity, uh, probably they will pump up the uh, stock market and as well as the uh, real estate. I mean, they've been doing that since the last decade, right? Isn't it? So I don't know if this QE Infinity... Uh, like a marginal diminishing return, like every time you do QE, uh, the first effect is good, right? The second or the third time or maybe the fourth time around, I don't know if the effect is still there. That's why people fight for safety to go and silver because when you go to a whole bunch of places to buy gold and silver, it's already ran out. It's only left with a whole bunch of other other like numeristic uh, coin that is more expensive, right? Um, so... <clears throat> So I don't know. So I, I think right now at this time, uh, people fight for safety. Uh, cash is also in a position. Cash is also cash is also a position, right? But also uh, probably need to uh, put some money in a commodity as well, like gold and silver. Not a financial advice. Use your due diligence. And I've been telling people to uh, you know put some in physical gold and silver. If you follow my channel, you probably know you probably uh, already have some uh, in your in in your portfolio, right? So. So let's talk about the trillion dollar package. <clears throat> so the two trillion uh, in the package is basically the rescue fund supposed to go to FH Joe, right? No, the majority go to big business, Five th uh, 532 billion big business, local governments, and 61 billion go to the airlines, see? I mean, airlines, they make tons and tons of money for the last uh, five or uh, six years at least. Uh, I think maybe last eight years. And they charge you for, like, when you fly, they charge you for the baggages, like $30 or something like that. I don't know. They make so much money just charging all these fees, right? And they make tons and tons of money. They should have reserve, right? Just like, just like, just like a, a, a average Joe. Uh, they may have a one, one, uh, one month or three months. Some people even have six months of emergency funds, right? And, 
And yet the airlines, they don't have emergency funds. They make tons and tons of money for the last decade. After the, I think, uh, after the financial crisis, the, uh, the government bailed them out, right? And then they start char charging the baggage fee. And just for the fees alone, they make huge amount of profit. And seriously, now they need bailout once again. So this is from the taxpayer's money, of course, right? Your paycheck every two weeks, they withheld your money, right? <clears throat> And 377 billion for small business loans and grants. So if you have business, that means you can apply for the uh, grants and loans, and those are, you know, those are free money. Some of them, right? But average Joe, how much you get? 290 billion direct payment to families. Only 290 billion. Okay, it's not like 100. It's not 80 percent of the money go to you. And I think some countries in France, uh, they also waiver the electricity. You don't have to pay electricity stuff like that, right? And uh, and also, uh, there's a limit for average Joe as well, right? Seventy. Uh, if if the person make over seventy five thousand a year, you get nothing. So one thousand two hundred, you get nothing, right? If you're over seventy five hundred thousand uh, dollars, and of course, in uh, in some state, the the cost of living is pretty low, right? Seventy five thousand may be a lot of money, but if you in some of the state, like in New York, in state of California. I mean, you make seventy-five thousand dollar a year in those two states. You bet. You barely uh make your end meet. Seriously. Um, so I think it's not fair because in terms of cost of living in those two states, they uh, have higher cost of living, and a lot of people at least making hundred thousand a year. You know, in those two states. So let me know what you think about this. Uh, uh, are you getting a thousand two hundred uh for this thing? But this is just like a dime out of the whole package, right? Is this is designed for the business? It's not for average Joe. And two hundred sixty billion go to unemployment insurance. And I think right now, I think it's not good for the middle class. All these packages, because middle class has to go to work. Okay, if you work in healthcare, you go to work, right? And but then if you're unemployed, you you don't have to go to work. You get the benefits. So it's better right now. It's better to unemploy. It's just uh, penalize people who is essential worker. Go uh, you know, uh, grocery shops. Um, uh, I think road maintenance is all essential workers as well as healthcare workers as well. Um, it's not fair, right? <laughs> they still have to go to work, and healthcare workers is even worse. They don't have enough PPE. They don't have the protection they need, right? And they potentially they can get infected, and then they will, uh, and then they will bring this back to the families, and f hopefully they implement some type of self quarantine when or they disinfecting themselves or before they go to the house, right? So <clears throat> I think it's not fair, this whole thing. But well, life is life, right? And tax cut is 290 billion. So the tax cut, I will talk about that too uh, in a minute. And 385 billion go to hospital. And I don't know what, is it go to the corporate, uh, go to the corporate office of the hospital, the executives? I mean, how, ma how much money go to the front line, to the healthcare worker? I don't know, right? <laughs> and then the vaccines, uh, 27, 27 billion the vaccines and stockpiles. Okay, um, I, I don't understand seriously. I mean, this thing is like everything is target. I mean, go to the wealthy people, average Joe, frontline healthcare worker. I don't think they get much seriously. And then they're risking their lives to, you know, to fighting this coronavirus. And I, I don't know. I mean. And and then you don't give them uh, enough uh, protective equipment to protect themselves, and subsequently they they're going to get infected, they're going to get sick, and 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 then I don't know. This is ridiculous, man. <clears throat> and uh, one of the stuff uh, I think they're saying that uh, there's something. Let's see, Nancy put <laughs> he talk about Nancy Pelosi Park twenty five million for the Kennedy Center grants for the National Endowment for Humanity and Arts. I mean, seriously, 25 million going to that. Why not 25 million going to the test kit, okay? Going to the PPE. Hello? I mean, uh, going to what? Humanity and uh, arts, right? Are you serious? Seriously? <clears throat> oh, my goodness. This is so corrupted. I mean, the whole government is so corrupted. Congressman, senator, everybody is so corrupted, seriously. And they talk about, let's see, they also talk about uh, two, 2 trillion divided by, because this package is 
whole package is two trillion divided by 150 million worker, which is about 13,000, like uh, over 13,000 per person. So this 13,000 is basically you you pay them in your federal income tax, and average Joe get 1,200. So you pay them 13,000, and what you get back is 1,200. And depending on your income, if your income is over 75,000, you get nothing. So that means you give away uh, your tax money, uh, 13,000, go to this bailout package. What, uh, please comment below what you think about this uh, stimulus package. And right now we go to in, uh, Uncharted Territory, QE Infinity, basically. And of course, Trump bailed himself out as well because of this. Uh, remember here, let's see. 290 billion tax cut, see? 290 billion tax cut, which is in the uh, real estate. 170 billion is in the real estate, <clears throat> real estate break. So for example, um, if a couple, if uh, if a couple more than 500,000 in annual capital gain or income from the sources other than business, uh, you will be getting a massive tax break. And this bill has no cap, okay? This new bill has no cap, so that means you can, you can, uh, you have, uh, you tax free, basically tax free over five hundred thousand, even more and beyond, and you can go back for two years too, isn't it? This is nice, right? For the wealthy one percent, you know, for the last two years, uh, the economy is like the stock market has gone like crazy, everything has gone like crazy. They're making tons and tons of money, and yet, uh, instead of all this tax break, uh, go to maybe the frontline staff, the healthcare worker, or go to the essential worker, right? They go to the wealthy people. So, <clears throat> so that is a good deal for them, not for the average Joe and not for healthcare worker, not for essential worker. Uh, this is for sure. <clears throat> so uh, so let's shift gear a little bit, like Hubei province, there's a, some type of riot after the quarantine lift. So this is basically the fighting between two provinces. The Hubei province, which is uh, Wuhan, is in Hubei province, which is the epic center of the coronavirus, where it started, right? We talked about that probably at least 10 weeks ago, when nobody even interested, when nobody took it seriously. People are laughing, this is not going to be serious, and yet, see what happened in the US. So I have warned people uh, at least 10 weeks ago. And only probably less than 1% take it seriously. Maybe 0.5 to 1% of the people take it seriously. Everybody don't take it seriously. So they think, they think this, this is not going to happen, but it's happened already. So, <clears throat> so basically, there's two provinces of fighting. Uh, residents from the Hubei province want to go to work in uh, the neighboring province. Uh, it's a Jingxing province. They uh, basically, um, the other province block them from going there. So, so that's why they have a fight. So, I mean, I mean, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things happen in China. The Chinese government just covering up. So, so don't believe in whatever China said, okay? And also in the mainstream media, they talk about U.S. cases is over 100,000, surpass uh, all the country, surpass China. Hey, China did not report, <laughs> report uh, honestly report the numbers. If they honestly report their numbers, it's not it's not like how much how many I don't ten thousand, maybe maybe up to a million. You don't know because why I say that China Mobile, uh, uh, China Mobile carrier is they lose twenty one million customer, so I think they <clears throat> they do the uh, they do the statistic uh, from January they have, um, from to February in February they lose about twenty one million customer. So either uh, don't forget. In China, 99.9% .9 of the population has cell phone. The reason why is because they, they only use cell phone to make payment. They don't, use, uh, they, they don't use cash. And if you go to a taxi, you need to have a cell phone with you. Otherwise, uh, you cannot pay the taxi driver. The taxi driver would not accept cash. And you have to use uh, Alipay or Tencent Pay or whatever to make the payment to, uh, to the purchases. So they already cashless long, long time ago. So everybody has a cell phone. If they lose about 21 million customers, that means all these people are already dead or they, they're still in the hospital or they're or they in somewhere, I don't know. So if you discount by half, for example, okay, for example, we suspect the 21 million people dead, but we do a more conservative estimate, cut by half. 10 million people already dead in China. So that's what I'm thinking. So I'm not, I don't want to create fear. This is... <clears throat> This is uh, 
I don't think mainstream media talk about it. They just still follow the number from John Hopkins. It surpassed China, blah, blah, blah. China, China did not report the true number. Why you compare with them? This is ridiculous. And also some physician, I think, uh, in the U.S., uh, uh, learn from China. There's nothing to learn from China, seriously. You need to learn from uh, Taiwan and Hong Kong. They have more transparency, especially Taiwan, uh, in terms of fighting the virus. They did a really, really good job. And Hong Kong is not, is not because of the Hong Kong government. It's because the people in there... Uh, they distrust the government, so the the uh, hospital, the hospital, the frontline people are very proactive in terms of fighting the virus. It's not because the Hong Kong government. But if you for, if you want a good model, ask for Taiwan for advice. Don't ask for China. Forget it because they lie, right? They lie to people on day one. I don't understand why the doctor from U.S. Uh, seek advice from chi China. No way. Don't do that. <clears throat> so this is. Uh, so this is the aerosol box. It is from Taiwan. They implemented this long, long time ago. And of course, uh, Taiwan and Hong Kong, they have tons of experience in SARS. So they know, so SARS is also part of the strands of the uh, coronavirus family too, right? So they do this intubation, uh, uh, the intubation box, uh, aerosol box. <clears throat> so when the anesthesia uh, intubate a patient, they, of course, he wear N95 as well as goggles and gowns as well. And they also use this box as a barrier to prevent, uh, you know, aerosol like going directly to the physician. So that is a very good idea. So this is a, this they learn it. I mean, they do it long, long time ago. I mean, uh, until recently, people talk about it. So, so I think uh, people should learn from Taiwan what they did in the past, why they control the uh, coronavirus really well. And they're, they're very proactive. The government is very proactive in Taiwan. And in Hong Kong, it's not the Hong Kong government. It's because the Hong Kong citizens and also the, uh, the frontline people, Hong, uh, the medical staff, they are very uh, vigilant. They uh, implement a lot, a lot of measures to protect their staff, also to fight this virus as well. And I think one of the Yale dog from Bellingham, Bellingham, I think is in Washington State, right? Uh, I think it's St. Joseph Health. Uh, he got fired because he's being focal about probably not enough PPE in uh, to the media, and he got fired. I mean, seriously, <clears throat> I thought only China would do that. You know, China, they silence the physicians. And right now in the U.S., they silence the physicians once again. And re this is so ridiculous. Healthcare worker, seriously, you should speak up, right? You should speak up. I mean, they, they have... I don't know, the hospital administrations, there's two complacents, two, two complacents. Anyway, I mean, you, they have two months, at least two months to prepare, and yet they they fail to prepare. They fail to do anything. And they just put all the frontline people at risk. So I don't want to go anything further. I, otherwise, I would get banned, you know, YouTube. You never know. So uh, please comment below what you think about this um, uh, the stimulus package. Uh, do you think it's, if it's for average Joe? Or do you think this is just a package for the big business once again and the wealthy people and the people who, uh, yeah, the wealthy people basically, right? Please comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And what do you think about uh, the 21 million people disappear in China? You know, they lose 21 million uh, uh, people. And don't forget, because the 99.9% .9 of the populations use cell phone uh, in China. Anyway, <clears throat> please comment below. Uh, let me know what you think about all this. I would love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming uh, token swap. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, library.tv and Patreon as well. And remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency, stock market and commodity can have an inherent risk. Please just a due diligence. I'm not a healthcare provider. If you, uh, if you have any questions or concerns about coronavirus, you should contact your physicians.